Assalamualaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to naevs home school i am sabrina hok assistant teacher of science national adel english version school day shift dear students today i am going to take a science class for class 3 student on the based on word meaning short question answer and broad question answer so let us move forward to today's topic dear students then <coughs> this word meaning short question answer and broad question answer which is belongs to chapter 2 come for the word meaning first word is living thing thing that grow changes and produce other living things by itself now come for the non-living thing thing that does not eat drink grow or produce itself other thing by itself now come to next one that is plant living things that has <coughs> root that will be living thing this s will be not here living thing that has root stems and leaves and make its own food now come to flowering plant plant that bears flowers non-flowering plant plant that does not bear flowers backbone a series of bones that helps to transport the animal's body now cup to support the animal body sorry uh, students it will be a series of bones that helps to support the animal's body now come to vertebrate an animal that has a backbone invertebrate an animal that does not have a backbone now come for the short question answer one that is write five examples of living and non-living things the answer is five example of living things and non-living uh, given below first one living things people bird fish plant cow non-living thing car chair air water soil come to next one that is how do people depend on plants the answer is people depend on plants in many ways food comes from plants we also need cloths and shelter some cloths are made up of plant part wood is used to build houses and furniture like this people depend on plants in the natural environment to live now come to next one this is broad question broad question number one it is how many groups of vertebrates are there the answer there are five groups in vertebrates then they are fish amphibian reptile bird and mammal the first one is fish a fish is a vertebrate that lives in water and lays eggs example ruy fish hilsha fish etc next one is amphibian and amphibian stores life in the water and then live on land as an adult example is frog now come for the reptile it has dry and scaly skin and lay eggs on land example lizard snake etc number four is bird bird has two legs and two wings their bodies are covered with feathers example chicken duck etc number five is mammal a mammal has hair or fur and produces milk for its young example cow dolphin etc now come for the board question number two write three differences between plants and animals the answer is three differences between plants and animals are given below first one plant <coughs> a plant has root stem and leaves and branches there will be no end now come for the next one animals an animal has body parts like legs wings and fins now come for the second one for plants plants cannot move from one place to another most animals have the ability to move freely plants can make their own food animal cannot make their own food now come for the next last question classify the plant into three groups based on the size and stems the answer is plants can be classified into three group based on size and stems they are tree sharp herb tree a plant which is large in size with a woody main stem and with branches or leaves <coughs> uh, examples it will be end example mango jackfruit etc sharp 
ashurb is a woody plant smaller than tree example rose rangoon etc herb a herb is a smaller is smaller than shrub they are uh, they have soft stems example paddy chili etc dear students this is your homework number 4 you have to write short question answer 1 and 2 as your homework and you have to submit on saturday from 9 am to 3 pm Dear students, I have finished my today's topic. Learn all the question answer and word meaning and submit your SW regularly. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.